Hello, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and uh, this time we're going to take a look at another Bits Power fan. Unfortunately, I don't have the Bits Power Griffin fan, which is their currently most powerful one. It's got over two millimeters of water for the static pressure. Uh, and this is the Bits Power Notos 0120 PWM DRGB. And uh, it's more powerful than the, the one that I just finished with, the BPTA uh, Notos. I don't know why they use that weird looking O that has the hexagon inside of it, but yeah. it's This is a more powerful version. So it's uh, different also in that the, whereas with the BPTA Notos, the fan blades had no texturing, they were smooth. This one has uh, slight texturing on both sides, um, but otherwise seems very, very similar. It has uh, corner cushions just like the other one uh, for to, to reduce vibrations and no sleeving on the cabling, standard connectors. So. That's what it looks like. The nice uh, Bits Power logo of what I assume would be a dragon. Or maybe it's a water horse. There are so many legendary creatures out there, mythical creatures out there, that um, it's hard to tell what something is sometimes. You think the Chinese um, dragon is a, is a dragon, and it's not exactly what you'd call a dragon. And there are other ones that are very confusing. So let's take a look at this and start with the lighting. It should be really nice, just like the B B BPTA Notos. And as you can see, fairly rich coloration, although you can see the LEDs on this ring here. But it is pretty colorful. Good saturation of the hues. Yeah, it's kind of soothing to watch. I think I'm going to fall asleep. No. <laughs> Not really. Let's um, now take a listen to the, um, the noise level from this and compare it to the Noctua and FA12 by 25. Everybody's favorite standard fan. Well, not favorite, but it's often considered the benchmark. Oh, that started very low. Barely turned it. And at this level, there's barely any noise. There's a low power, uh, low pitch noise, very low. And now I'm getting a kind of a hum. It's also fairly low. Although it's fairly quiet. Now there's a resonance pitch that's in the middle. It's gone, of course. Not terribly noisy. Um, this one has pretty much the same range as the BPTA Notos. I think this one is a little bit less noisy. So let's compare it to the Noctua now. I think some people will find this bit's power to be a little bit annoying because of that pitch that's kind of in the middle there, but it's not too bad. At least it's not as high pitched as the Noctua that you can already hear. Okay, I'm going to 
to turn down the bits power. I would say the Noctua is louder, louder than this bits power. It's just a shame that these bits powers use uh, greatly inferior hydraulic bearings. Which is probably why they're so cheap. Now I'm turning off the Noctua. All right, I found, um, I think that for some people the uh, Noctua is going to be really annoying because of the high pitch noise, and for some people the bits power is going to be annoying because of the medium pitch noise, but ultimately I feel like this is quieter than the other bits power, and um, despite the that resonance hum that I heard at one point, I think um, it's easier on the um, senses for some people, or at least the hearing. So before I move to the static um, section, static electricity, <laughs> the st let's move to the static electricity. Psst. Oh, electro boom, how did you get in here? Um, I just need to ask for your help to um, <clears throat> bring attention to my uh, channel so that I can do more and do better. Maybe someday not work at Amazon anymore. That would be nice. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this fan came in a an anti-static bag. A lot of fans don't come in anti-static bags. And I don't think it's per terribly problematic, although I was at the uh, UPS store the other day returning a motherboard that was damaged. Um, I bought a motherboard... Uh, uh, some stuff for my niece to build a computer for her and I looked at the, the socket the LGA socket and I could see what looked like dust on the socket and took a look and there were pins that were not exactly in place and I tried to fix that and that was a bad idea actually I let my son try to fix it and that was the bad idea because then one of the pins got damaged so I've returned it. I'm expecting them to say, hey, you messed it up, so uh, we're not going to uh, fix this under warranty. And I'll be like, okay, well, send me a replacement. I'll pay for it. Because I really want to get this computer put together for my niece so she can start on uh, learning graphic arts. She is a good artist, and I think she'll do well if uh, she can stick to it. Um, so, yeah, if you can please like, subscribe, and if you don't mind terribly, share as well. And uh, I appreciate the support. All right, moving on to the static. <laughs> Electro boom, stop that. The, st <laughs> the statistical section. And now that Electro boom has left the room, <laughs> uh, this is the BPTA Notos 0120. Or BPTA dash NTO one twenty dash oh, sorry eighteen D one, and um, it's black with translucent white uh, blades. It's a ten dollar fan, and I think honestly, if you have a choice between this and the BPTA, why did I, uh, why did I write this one as BPTA? This is not a BPTA. That's weird. I must not have been paying attention. Okay. If you have a choice between this one and the BPTA, I would go with this one. It's a more powerful fan, even though you're going to pay another couple of dollars for it. I, um, but, you know, it's it's cheap. So, honestly, I would go with the Arctic uh, P12, uh, P PST PWM, or the Arctic P12 Max. Uh, it has two certifications, just like the Arctic, uh, well, the Arctic S3, actually. Uh, CE and RHS, made in Taiwan, which is, uh, I, I'm... I don't know, um, like, Taiwan versus China, in what ways Taiwan is better, which you know, which I would assume is a lot because it's not a dictatorship. And I know that China is doing a lot to undermine Taiwan on a regular basis, but I don't know what's wrong with Taiwan. Um, but I would much rather support a country that is not trying to dominate the world or, or even do, just dominate its people to the point of uh, abuse in, in many, many very, very obvious ways. 
Whereas America, you know, they're a little bit more subtle about the abuse they heap on us. Uh, it's not so noticeable. Um, so people are less inclined to be miserable here than in China. Um, I think. I think. I could be wrong. I've never been to China. I've not lived, you know, obviously I've not lived in China. And um, although I have a Chinese friend at work, um, she's very careful about what she says because she doesn't want to get in trouble with the Chinese government. And she's from Beijing. So, uh, yeah, she has to be careful. And I respect that. I try not to pry into her personal opinion. So um, it is a standard 120 by 25, 30,000 hours lifespan, uh, one year warranty DRGB. It supports MSI Gigabyte 2.0 bits power, Asus, Razer, Vivid, and ASRock. 150 um, uh, grams versus the 200 of the Noctua and F812 by 25. And of course, the Noctua has the SSO2 bearings, which are fantastic at over 150,000 hours and six years of warranty. Uh, seven blades versus the Noctua's nine. Uh, standard uh, mounting hole distance, 800 to 1800 RPMs with 10% variance, 45 to 50 uh, airflow CFM, um, and 1.3 to 1.6 static pressure uh, or millimeters of water. Uh, the decibels are 25 to 28. Oh, okay, fantastic. Somebody's replied. Um, the control cable is 51 centimeters long. You can't daisy chain. It's not sleeved. The LED one is 52, and it is daisy chained, chainable and uh, no sleeving. PWM connector, a standard ARGB connector, hydrodynamic bearing of some kind that's really crappy, uh, 12 volts with a starting voltage of 7 uh, 2.04 watts rated uh, with a range of 1.92 to 2.04. Now, if we look again, if we just uh, take a step back and we notice that the Noctua has got sleeving, um, it doesn't have daisy chaining either. It has uh, lower wa um, wattage and voltage and also amperage. Um, this one has 0.16 to 0.17. The Noctua has 0.1 to 0.14. And uh, 5 volts, 5.5 watts, from 4.5 to 5.5, 1.1 amps uh, with a minimum of 0.9. It does not have rotation and flow indicators, but it's a clockwise uh, fan. It comes with four screws and corner cushions, and that's all there is to that. So... Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.